what is up guys welcome back to another video today we'll be showing you how to play powerpoint audio and the slides automatically like a video so this can be a real quick tutorial no intro today so let's get right into it i have this powerpoint here that is uploaded by my professor um it's only 16 slides not too bad it comes straight from our textbook in case, in case you're wondering what textbook this is it right here chapter 18 um, and my teacher goes through over these PowerPoints and records these little audio snippets. Let's take a listen. And it's not actually playing for you guys. Let me try to fix this real quick. All right, let's try that again. Available to protect one or more of the following interests. Of so the she has these clips right here. Now, if we were to go into slideshow, um, and let me just make sure that my slideshow is going to play in a window here and play it from the beginning. It shows the first slide. I have to click to go to the next one. And we don't hear the sound. I actually have to go down here and click on this. That's my email. Don't mind that. And press play on every single one. Compensatory damages are designed to, it, right? to play. And after I finish listening to it, click, go to the next slide and keep doing that for each one. Now that is tedious. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to fix that. Now in order to fix it, it is gonna be a tiny bit tedious to fix it, which might be counterintuitive, but I promise you it's gonna be nice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to transitions. And over here on the left, um, where it says on mouse click or after, we're just gonna check after. And I like to set it to four seconds. So this means that after four seconds of it not doing anything, it's going to go to the next slide. And we need to make sure that we click apply to all. All right. So now we're going to go to our first slide with our little megaphone icon here. So we're going to click on the icon, go up here to the top to playback where it says audio options. It says start when clicked on. We're going to change that to automatically. And we're going to do that for each slide. So click on the megaphone and automatically click on the megaphone automatically. And we're going to do this for all 16 of my slides here. Now, whenever you scroll, you are going to have to go all the way back to playback. But as long as you don't scroll through, it just lands right on playback for you. I'm not sure why that is. It may be different for you. All right. So we are almost done. Unfortunately, there isn't an apply to all button for these, which is a little bit annoying, but that's going to be okay. Now, if you have like 30 or 60 slides, then this might be a little bit more tedious than you're willing to put up with. But for me, the 16 or 15 or so slides that I have normally isn't too bad. So now that we are done, we can go ahead and do file, save. And then when we go to slideshow, play from beginning, it's going to skip this one after four seconds. And it will immediately start playing the audio. Compensatory damages so are designed. Down, turn down that audio. And it's going to keep reading. And once this audio file is done, it's going to wait four seconds and go to the next slide. So thank you very much for watching, guys. That is how you make your slideshow play automatically. I'll see you in the next one.